good day everyone. I hope you are all doing great today. So today I will be going to tackle about DNA replication. First, we were going to know what is DNA replication. DNA replication is the process by which a molecule of DNA is duplicated. When a cell divides, it must first duplicate its genome so that daughter cells winds up with a complete set of chromosomes. Or in simple definition, DNA replication is the process by which DNA makes a copy of itself during cell division. DNA replication is an essential part of cell division and the growth of organisms. The process of cell division uses strands of DNA as templates to create new strands of DNA. The process of DNA replication is vital for cell growth, repair, and reproduction of organisms. The replication of DNA is an incredibly fast and accurate process. On average, Around one mistake is made for every 10 billion nucleotides that are replicated. The process includes over a dozen different types of enzymes and other proteins to run correctly. DNA replication is probably one of the most amazing tricks that DNA does. If you think about it, each cell contains of the DNA you need to make the other cells. And we start out from a single cell and we end up with trillions of cells and during that process of cell division all of the information in a cell has to be copied and it has to be copied perfectly and so dna is a molecule that can be replicated to make almost perfect copies of itself which is all the more amazing considering that there are almost three billion base pairs of dna to be copied and replication uses dna polymerases which are molecules specifically dedicated to just copying DNA. Replicating all of the DNA in a single human cell takes several hours of just pure copying time. At the end of this process, once the DNA is all replicated, the cell actually has twice the amount of DNA that it needs, and the cell can then be divided and parcel the DNA into the daughter cells, so that the daughter cell and the parental cell in many cases are absolutely genetically identical. The DNA structure DNA or deoxyribonucleic acid is a type of molecule known as a nucleic acid. It consists of a 5-carbon deoxyribose sugar, a phosphate, and a nitrogen base. Double-stranded DNA consists of two spiral nucleic acid chains that are twisted into a double helix shape. This twisting allows DNA to be more compact. In order to fit within the nucleus, DNA is packed into tightly coiled structures called chromatin. Chromatin condenses to form chromosomes during cell division. Prior to DNA replication, the chromatin loosens, giving cell replication machinery access to the DNA strands. Preparation for replication Step 1 replication fork formation or the initiation. Before DNA can be replicated, the double-stranded molecules must be unzipped into two single strands. DNA has four bases called adenine, thymine, cytosine, and guanine that form pairs between the two strands. Adenine only pairs with thymine, and cytosine only binds with guanine. In order to unwind DNA, these interactions between base pairs must be broken. This is performed by an enzyme known as DNA helicase. DNA helicase disrupts the hydrogen bonding between base pairs to separate the strands into Y shape known as the replication fork. This area will be the template for replication to begin. DNA is directional in both strands signified by a 5 and 3 end. This notation signifies which side group is attached to DNA backbone. The 5 end has a phosphate group attached, while the 3 end has a hydroxyl group attached. This directionality is important for replication as it only progresses in the 5 to 3 direction. However, the replication fork is bidirectional. One strand is oriented in the 3 to 5 direction, leading strand, while the other is oriented to 5 to 3, lagging strand. 
The two sides are therefore replicated with two different processes to accommodate the directional difference. Replication begins. Primer binding. The leading strand is the simplest to replicate. Once the DNA strands have been separated, a short piece of RNA called a primer binds to the three end of the strand. The primer always binds as the starting point for replication. Primers are generated by the enzyme DNA primase. DNA replication, elongation. The second step is the elongation. Enzymes, known as DNA polymerases, are responsible for creating the new strand by a process called elongation. There are five different known types of DNA polymerases in bacteria and human cells. In bacteria, such as E. coli, polymerase 3 is the main replication enzyme, while polymerase 1, 2, 4, and 5 are responsible for error checking and repair. DNA polymerase 3 binds to the strand at the site of the primer and begins adding new base pairs complementary to the strand during replication. In eukaryotic cells, polymerases alpha, delta, and epsilon are the primary polymerases involved in DNA replication because replication proceeds in the 5 to 3 direction on the leading strand. The newly formed strand is continuous. The lagging strand begins replication by binding with multiple primers. Each primer is only several bases apart. DNA polymerase then adds pieces of DNA, called Okazaki fragments, to the strand between primers. This process of replication is discontinuous as the newly created fragments are disjointed. Step 3. Termination once both the continuous and discontinuous strands are formed, an enzyme called exonuclease removes all RNA primers from the original strands. These primers are then replaced with appropriate bases. Another exonuclease proof reads, the newly formed DNA to check, remove and replace any errors. Another enzyme called DNA ligase join Okazaki fragments together forming a single unified strand. The ends of the linear DNA presents a problem as DNA polymerase can only add nucleotides in the 5 to 3 direction. The ends of the parent strands consist of repeated DNA sequences called telomeres. Telomeres act as protective gaps at the end of chromosomes to prevent nearby chromosomes from fusing. A special type of DNA polymerase enzyme called Telomerase catalyzes the synthesis of telomer sequences at the end of the DNA. Once completed, the parent strand and its complementary DNA strand coils into the familiar double helix shape. In the end, replication produces two DNA molecules, each with one strand from the parent molecule and one new strand. Replication Enzymes DNA replication would not occur without enzymes that catalyze various steps in the process. Enzymes that participate in the eukaryotic DNA replication processes include DNA helicase unwinds and separates double-stranded DNA as it moves along the DNA. It forms the replication fork by breaking hydrogen bonds between nucleotide pairs in DNA. DNA polymerases synthesizes new DNA molecules by adding nucleotides to leading and lagging DNA strands. DNA primase, a type of RNA polymerase that generates RNA primers. Primers are short RNA molecules that act as templates for the starting point of RNA replication. Tupoisomerase or DNA gyrase unwinds and rewinds DNA strands to prevent the DNA from becoming tangled or supercoiled. Exonuclease is a group of enzymes that remove nucleotide bases from the end of DNA chain. DNA ligase joins DNA fragments together by forming phosphodiester bond between nucleotides. Error in DNA replication In the initial pairing of bases with a template DNA strand, 
there is around one error for every 100,000 nucleotides paired. Polymerase enzymes prove free that new strands of DNA against the template strand and fix errors. This fixing reduces errors to around one error for every 10 billion nucleotides, an extremely accurate process. The 1 in 10 billion errors exist when a polymerase incorrectly replaces the error with another incorrect nucleotide. These rare errors are the cause of genetic mutations and cancer. Telomeres Telomeres are short sections at the end of DNA strands that get shorter and shorter with each replication of DNA strands. Telomeres don't contain information for specific genes, but are a safety net for a slight problem with the DNA replication in eukaryotic cells. Remember that DNA replication begins with the attachment of an RNA primer and DNA polymerase can only add nucleotides to one end of the RNA primer. Every time a strand of DNA is replicated, the section of DNA behind the RNA primer cannot be replicated. This is an issue only for eukaryotic cells that have linear strands of DNA. Prokaryotic cells have a single ring of DNA, so all their DNA is able to be replicated. Telomeres provide a solution to this problem. They are short sections at the end of DNA strand that usually contain one repeating sequence of bases. The sequence is repeated between 100 to 1000 times and contain no genetic information. Having telomeres at the end of strands of DNA prevents the loss of genetic information through imperfect replication of DNA. A telomere can become shorter each time DNA is replicated. The shortening of telomeres is thought to be involved in the process of aging for both cells and the whole organisms. As an individual grows older, the DNA of all their cells will have been through many replications. If a cell has been through too many replications, it is possible for the entire telomere to be lost, and the cell is likely to be killed. Mutations An error in DNA replication is also known as a mutation. If an error is not corrected and remains present in the new DNA strand, then every time that strand of DNA is replicated, the error will be replicated. If an error occurs in sperm or egg cells, the mutation can be passed to the next generation. Most mutations are harmful, but some can be beneficial. Many mutations can affect how a cell performs and often mutant cells will die before they can replicate again. Mutations are the only way new genetic material is produced. Over billions of years, the rare beneficial mutations have taken life from simple, single-celled organisms to diverse array of complex and spectacular species. Mutations are a key part of evolution. That is all for today everyone. I hope all of you have learned about the topic we have discussed for today. See you again soon, but make sure to like and subscribe to be updated for my next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching. Bye!